Just as iodine is one of the many minerals needed by our body, our body requires complete and balanced minerals in order to function effectively. The importance of minerals has long been recognized and was given importance by the Japanese. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Japan is the country with the longest life expectancy in the world. In the Amami Islands, Japanese live up to 120 years. Doctors and health experts from the World Health Organization cited three factors for their long lifespan. First, the water they drink and the air they breathe is rich in minerals. Second, they eat lots of seafood, seaweed, natural salt, and brown sugar, which are rich sources of minerals. Finally, they have a sense of purpose among their elderly, or a reason to live longer. At 70 years old, Mr. Yuichiro Miura became the oldest man to climb Mount Everest. Why do we need minerals? Minerals are important because they are required by our body to process all the nutrients we get from foods such as proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and vitamins. They are needed for proper cellular function. Healing and rebuilding of damaged tissues in wounds and skin disorders will speed up if our body has ready access to necessary minerals. This is affirmed by two-time Nobel Prize winner Dr. Linus Pauling, who said that you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Usually, minerals can be found naturally in the food that we eat. But nowadays, people eat foods that are over-processed and void of many essential nutrients. In many ways, minerals are more important than vitamins. Plants, animals, and humans can produce their own vitamins, but they cannot produce their own minerals. They only get it from the soil. So if minerals are not present in the soil, we cannot get minerals from plants and the food we eat. Through years of planting, monocropping, soil erosion, and poor agricultural practices, these mineral resources can be depleted. We may be eating fruits and vegetables that lack in essential minerals. These are now grown in soils that have been overplanted and saturated with fertilizers and pesticides. Thus, there is an occurrence of mineral deficiency in humans and animals.